Thank you for being the smart and nice and decent person I always knew you were. Just some beans in case I get hungry in the wee hours. Good night. <laughs> Doug, you're hurting me. Oh, it's so cold out. The hot tub is going to be great. Come on, baby. Hey, come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> Arthur, why the hell is it so hot in here? Dad, it's, it's 109. Hey, it's much healthier when it's hot. Cleans out your pores. You can't tell, but I'm sweating like a pig right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm going to have to turn the heat down. Go ahead. I'm getting out anyway. I'm in my birthday suit, so look away if you're shy. <laughs> ah, ah. It's called gravity, Douglas. And it's coming for you. It still is our anniversary, and I still have a little frosting left. I like frosting. Mm -hmm. Am I interrupting? No, Dad. No. <laughs> hey, it's Sunday morning. You want to have sex? <laughs> Do ya, do ya, do ya. Come on, wake up. I want sex. Your hair looks good now. <laughs> Dad, I'm sleeping. Did you feel that? Oh, no. Oh, honey. It's a dog quick! Oh, no! Oh, boy! Quick, under a door jam! Under a door jam! Find one! You want a piece of me? Come on, sex in the kitchen. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? I thought you weren't coming home until tonight. Danny gave me the boot. What? Why? I don't know. Something about Doug being an idiot. <laughs> so, what are you kids up to? Dad, I'm making pancakes. You want any? Dad? Dad? <laughs> well, there you are. Yes, there I am. So how'd your, uh, how'd your dad's date go, huh? Very well. Or not so well, depending on whether you're uh, him or, he, or you. <laughs> you know what, honey? You're late for work. The watch ring doesn't lie. Oh, Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know my shift doesn't start till 9. Not till 9? Is that right? Maybe you want to go a little early and, uh, you know, kiss up? So what's going on? Hi, Doug. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> yes, this is a little awkward, isn't it? But what the hell? I need my coffee. <laughs> and Sheila? It's, it's, it's Aunt Sh Sheila. Well... It looks like her, hun. <laughs> morning, kids. Morning, my sweet. Hello, my dear. Look, you gotta get going. I got another one of Doug's aunts coming in right behind you. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're so terrible, but so, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again for giving me that extra money. I think the lobster put me right over the top. <laughs> Actually, what I consider one of my strengths as an assistant is I keep my own cross-reference files on all the cases my boss is working on, so if things change suddenly, I can, uh... You can what? Uh... So often you might be called on to assist one of our senior attorneys at city hearings, negotiations, and so forth. Oh, well, that's very exciting news, because at my old firm, there was really never an opportunity to. <laughs> and 
mm. I don't have any children, so if I'm required to stay late or go out of town, that doesn't really present a, a problem. <clears throat> In the, in the sense that I would give my total focus to... Just get one, one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing? I told you not to talk to anybody. He asked me if I was being helped. Damn it, I have a lawsuit to file. Shh. Jim, these are real estate lawyers, okay? They, they don't represent lunatics who want to sue their dermatologists. They all moonlight grow up. Good, sir. <laughs> Stop what? knocking no, off. No, give no, me, no, just no. give me the. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> One more sec. <laughs> You've been wined and dined, all that. You, uh, you good to go? I am ready to get back on the horse. Or in this case, have the horse get back on you. <laughs> give it your best shot, Eddie. Mm. All right, bring it up. <laughs> we got big doings in here. What's going on, Dad? Come on in! Hurry! Ah, the double! Jump, jump! <laughs> ta -da! What are you ta dying about? What, what is that? El Baco. <laughs> the new board game you ordered for me on the interstate. Internet, Dad. So, shall I sit up in here? Or in the living room? Or in the living room? Oh, uh, Dad, it's really late. What are you still doing up? I nap for six hours. I'm bursting with energy. Come on, one quick day. No, forget it, Arthur. Not tonight. Yeah, maybe another time, Dad. Good night. Oh, that's just dandy, isn't it? I've been alone in this house since 8 a.m., and all I ask is for a few moments of human interaction when you come home. But apparently, that's more than you can spare. Good night. <laughs> Playing cards in the dark. Wow. Oh, well, what a helps out yeah. Yeah. All right, fellas, the game is called Kick the Dog. Three, sixes, nines, one eye jacks, suicide, kings are wild. <laughs> tell you what, Arthur, why don't you just tell us what's not wild? That's Fondle the Mailman, and we're playing that next. <laughs> Whoa. I got five aces, I don't even have an ace. <laughs> no one drop out. In this game, mostly everyone winds up with five aces. <laughs> Uh, it's almost 10. I should call mom, tell her I'm gonna be late. Yeah, you're gonna be very late. You're the only one who's winning. You live with your mother? Yeah, it's a pain, but she doesn't drive, so... So what if she doesn't drive? The woman can't take a bus? Theoretically, yes, but she's used to my car. All right, let's bet. I go a quarter. Who's in? A quarter is. Yeah, up a quarter. All right, let me get this straight. If you live with your mother... Arthur, it's to you. I'm very curious. If you live with your mother... What do you do when you have a girl spend the night? Okay, what do you do when you have a guy spend the night? It's gotta be one or the other. A girl! It would be a girl! Uh, who hasn't been? Look, for your information, I want to move out, but apartments are very expensive. As it is, we pay $7.50 for a one-bedroom. A one-bedroom? I say, who hasn't bet? <laughs> Where do you sleep, Arthur? The living room sofa pulls out, that it? <laughs> you share a bedroom with your mother? Twin beds! Twin beds! There's an entire night table between us! Easy, easy! I was just making conversation! Manly, yes, but I like it too. <laughs> yeah, the face is back. And seeing you in that uniform again, yummy. I would take you right now if the world didn't need its packages. Yeah, and I'd take you right now if I hadn't just taken you last night. <laughs> As you know, I need a 24-hour turnaround. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hello. Dad, you can't just come up here. I'm in my bra. Settle down. I've seen better. <laughs> well, hello there, neighbor. Hello. 
Why do you call me neighbor? I moved him up here for the night. The basement was freezing. How freezing? Stop it. All right, Dad. Make yourself comfortable, and if you need anything, you just let me know, right? I need nothing. Now, you kids run along, do your thing, and forget I'm even here. Okay, good night. Love you. Right, good night. Douglas, what's your preference incense-wise? Vanilla or musk? <laughs> So just to review, I want to order the Deluxe Miracle Wand, the waterproof pen, and three cans of the spray-on hair. <laughs> An orange, yes. It's for a friend. All right. Thank you for your help, young man. I can expect it on Tuesday. Wow, that's speedy. Where are you located, anyway? <laughs> All right, are you comfortable? Ready to go? I'm ready. OK, got the movie, got a box of dots, box of milk duds, and... A backup box of dots. Doug, when you plan a Saturday night, look out. <laughs> Dot me, baby. Okay, come on. Come here. Oh, didn't know we were going to watch a motion picture. Hi, Dad. You should warn a fellow when it's movie night. Actually, we uh, we assumed that you had other plans. Well, you're in luck. Tonight, my dance card is wide open. <laughs> All right, so what have we here? Shoot 'em up, sci-fi, erotic thriller? It's a mystery, I think. Oh, nothing like a good whodunit. Shh, okay, here we go, come on. FBI warning, federal law provides severe civil and criminal fast forwarding. There we go. All right, here we go. Pentagon. October 1962, on the eve of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Arthur! We can read. A thousand pardons. Why is that guy shaving his beard? Did I get here before you? I'm just trying to follow the story, Douglas. Well, that's fine. Just follow it without talking. Could you do that? Shh, not me, him. Shh. <laughs> Arthur, every time you ask me a question, I can't watch the movie. Then I don't know what's going on. Then you should get a simpler movie. Uh, I'm getting a beer. Crack one for me, will you? Yeah. <laughs>